You're furiously exploring one of your favorite games, Titular Dungeons. You keep your eyes peeled and your ears open as you navigate the dark corridor before you, desperately searching for signs of traps, environmental hazards, or better yet, a secret door. But as luck would have it, two skills on your character sheet seem to vie for your attention. Investigation and perception. So which one applies? I'm Christina Ariel from Sirens of the Realms, and you're about to find out in a special skill check spotlight on Handbooker Helper. Don't know how to play? We'll, we'll show, show you the way. Handbook. 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 Handbooker Helper. Handbooker Helper. Investigation and perception appear to have a lot in common when it comes to your character's awareness of the world around them. Let's take a look at them both so we can identify the differences and put those proficiencies where they count. <laughs> perception is a wisdom skill that essentially allows you to notice something by spotting or hearing it. Perception check is an accurate gauge of the height of your character's senses at any given moment. If you're trying to hear a group of monsters as they slink stealthily through the forest, or eavesdrop on a conversation through a closed door, perception is the skill that will most likely be put to the test. Likewise, you'll want a high perception if you want to notice things like hidden enemies, or easy to miss details like the soft glow of candlelight beneath a secret door. I really do love secret doors. And in case you missed it, a passive check is an ability check without die rolls that represents the average result for a task done repeatedly. Passive perception is so ubiquitous that they put it on your character sheet. Whenever the DM wants to secretly determine whether your character succeeds at a perception-based check without rolling dice, like noticing a hidden monster or stumbling onto an obscured trap, passive perception kicks in. Most traps, for instance, allow perception checks to detect their triggers or any other elements that can tip players off to their presence. If the dungeon master stopped to ask you for a perception check every time you encountered a trap, you'd suspect the hidden danger, and it wouldn't be so hidden. Drama and suspense make the game fun, and passive perception helps the DM mitigate those moments. Dungeon masters who are having trouble knowing when to switch from passive to active can always use passive perception as a starting point, then have players specify where they're searching and what they're looking for as the search is narrowed down with active checks. Investigation, on the other hand, is an intelligence-based skill that affects your ability to make discoveries and inform deductions on the clues left behind, just waiting for you to find them. An investigation check can help you locate that magical locket you've been searching for, tell you what kind of weapon was used in a murder, or determine specific features of your environment, like a loose brick in a suspicious wall, or a difficult spring in an overly complicated trap. And any wizard who's spent a considerable amount of time trying to decipher the hidden knowledge of an ancient writing knows that investigation checks make a researcher's world go round. To put it in Sherlock Holmes terms, Perception will help you notice the muddy footprints, but investigation can help you identify what size boot the foot was wearing, and maybe, if the roll is high enough, where precisely that mud came from. If you're looking to build a particularly perceptive character, look no further than the Observant feat, which grants players the ability to quickly notice details about their environment. Not only do you increase your intelligence or wisdom score by one to a maximum of 20, but you can read lips and gain a plus five bonus to your passive perception and passive investigation scores. And before you know it, those secret doors ain't secret no more. Just consult your dungeon master before committing to the arguably OP observant feat. They'll want to know what they're getting into. Now that you're a glorified sleuth, now it's off to the character sheet and into the wilds. The game is as they say, or fought. Handbook, handbook, handbooker, handbooker helper, handbooker helper. Ding.